TV. Your ladies are here. Val, Lisa, we're here. Here. TV. That's a what? Hashtag. Hashtag. Oh man. Well, you can see that we are celebrating the month of pride all month long. And since this is the very last day of June, we couldn't help but bring in one of our amazing, most favorite people on the planet. Before we get in there, make sure that you like this video. Subscribe today. Click that little bell icon. Hold on. I got it. Yay! Hello, hello to everyone in the live chat, but make sure you're commenting in the comment section below. That's right. Well said, Mickey. If you're watching this on replay, we're so happy to have you, but we are live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. And listen, we have a lot of fun on the show, of course, but this is the about a 30 minute version of the show, the unfiltered hour long version or around an hour is always available on patreon.com slash gaw TV. And at the top of the hour at 6 p.m. Eastern, as soon as the show is done, we're gonna get ready to head on over to patreon.com slash gaw TV, pour another cocktail and invite all of our patrons to join us for a Zoom after party. It's live, everyone on Patreon is invited. We do a little dance party, a little cocktail, cheers at the end. You're gonna love it. So make sure you join today. You've got a little bit of time. Make sure you join the after party on Patreon. It's so much fun. But Val, you didn't mention this. What? Our Teespring store. Oh, Te dude. It's in there, our description. Mm -hmm. We have all golf merchandise designed by fans, ourselves, the pillow. There's a fanny pack. I'm still waiting to get. Be patient with the mailing. COVID. <laughs> it's a little slow. A little bit. Yeah, sure. just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. But Teespring amazing merch down below on the description oh that's amazing lisa uh, speaking of like the shipping we oh my god i was gonna throw to the story of the box when it arrived on val's doorstep holy god yeah. i cannot the second time I mean, like second time it. my mind is blown and that's don't worry guys that wasn't our merch that was a, a package that i sent to miss valerie to uh at, from all of you know from us here in the states and it arrived and it was just in shambles usps get it together get it together unprofessional you know service do, uh, do you think mickey oh, these right. people should be on like a little bit of um legacy subs like to get their shit together they need to get their stuff together they need to get it together I was gonna say, burners. you know what doesn't come shipped like that not only the stuff from our Teespring store, but the but my merch <laughs> are from our sponsor at LegacySups.com. Yes. <laughs> right here in the <laughs> USA, shipped worldwide. Use code GAW, G-A-W. You know, I'm obviously I have a lot of love to go into Legacy Sups. And now that we have the fem female line, the Her Legacy, designed specifically for women, by women. So now we have the men's line, the women's line. And dude, it's doing great. It's doing yeah. great. Yes, yeah. as, as Darren Young said on, on last week's episode, health is your wealth. And that is such a great quote and that applies to our Legacy Sup sponsorship. Thank you for that. We also want to say thank you to our top tier gorgeous patrons thus far. We're talking about William, Thorsten, Wayne, Aaron, Remy, Anthony, Mickey D, George, and Tony. We have so many fabulous supporters of patreon.com slash TV. And this month, if you are a top tier gorgeous member, you're going to get a beautiful uh, knockouts banner from Impact Wrestling, or as we call it, because we're old school TNA wrestling. That is our gift to you. It's a, it's a fabulous piece of tangible merchandise. We switch up the rewards every single month. So we want to say thank you to all of our gorgeous members so much. Oh, so Absolutely. Fun. And guess what? Not only you can watch this show here, uh -huh. you can listen to our glorious voice. Voices <laughs> on Godcast. Go podcast yes thank you ella j for just transferring our show our youtube to the podcast which is unedited version a super huge shout out to ella from uh, a wrestling gal podcast she's doing so much now who's also in our after parties as well right like she's yeah. i'm so so proud of her she's just doing so much stuff now i'm just dude she's knocking down doors she really is i know a grown -ass woman. i know yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah she is a grown -ass yeah woman. Well, you guys, I'm super excited about our guest today. I, you know, we who say- Who is it? Who is it? Who is well, it? 
we saved them for the very last day because it seemed to make the most sense also because tomorrow is the very first day of July where we get a very special gift at the beginning of the month anyway. Mel blesses us every month with the star signs. And we've obviously had Mel on the show from Beyond the Veil, beyondtheveil.com, but we've never met her wife. And I was just like so excited that we hear their story and they do so much fun stuff. Lisa, you're going to love this in the paranormal world and all these cool stuff together as well. And she's a badass babe too. So I'm so excited to welcome our, our, our grand finale for the month of Pride Miss Mel and Tess Ob, our main adventure, our main adventure, right? Our main adventure, right? Nikki? To the main event. Let the slumber party commence. Here they come. We've got a Yay! debut. Game. We've got a debut. Grab a seat. Grab a seat. <laughs> oh my goodness! We, we were just saying for the first time ever, Tess. We get your presence, your lovely presence on the show. Oh no, Ryan! <laughs> oh, your presence is our right. present. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's cute, so, ladies. What are we drinking? <gasps> are you? <laughs> you just you just stole Mickey's line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm right. what are y'all drinking i didn't think you all were drinking because i thought you were going somewhere yeah we're going to church but you can still have a drink before church they drink in church jesus yeah. Jesus. Yeah. it was water to wine i remember that story exactly he gets water. it cheers to that this is belvedere vodka ready let's do it one two three oh. Oh my gosh. I've never been prouder in my life. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Honestly. That was going to be Nikki's question though. That, that's, our, that's our jam. Oh. Yeah. 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 I was going to ask you who you were wearing and what are you drinking? So. <laughs> who are you wearing? ASOS. ASOS. Yeah. <laughs> Mel was excited. Well, that, what are we drinking? Let's drink. Let's drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we really care what anyone's wearing? We just want to know what, what they're drinking. Uh, I have to go to Lisa because Lisa had, uh, she's pulled out a very special hat for the occasion. <laughs> Let it fly. Let it fly. Yeah. Have it. Yep. I saved it for your episode, you guys, for your guys' episode, this hat. I've been dying to wear it. And I'm like, oh, come on, come on. I'm like, it's, it's been in the bag with the, with the, the, the tags. How cute is this, though? You guys gotta love, love party, like party city, flat. party city. She cut the tags we, off we just for you. Celebrate for the whole month, gay stuff. We have been. I yeah. when I say this this hat for you, she for did. you guys. We do. We, we're, we've been celebrating all month, and that's why we're so glad to have you guys on because the whole month we've been trying to, um, you know, put the spotlight on the LGBTQ plus community. Obviously, uh, Mickey's got her fabulous decor in the background. I've been playing my coquettish self oh, with my fans. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and Lisa <laughs> is representing. I will tell you what I'm wearing is um, a, a markdown Victoria's Secret bargain that was originally 148 pounds, marked down to 10 pounds. Wow. wow. I swear, crazy. And I, I did oh. uh, choose my jewelry carefully. This is a brand called Amped Accessories. We'll put them in the description. Uh, I found them in, um, in their clip, which is super cool. I found oh. them actually at DragCon and Drag World, and they oh. are a fabulous supporter of all drag queens, which I love. And I am drinking, yes, I'm drinking, Luann. I'm drinking <laughs> uh, vodka soda. Vodka soda. <laughs> a skinny bitch, as they call it. I know who you talk about now when you say Luann. I've only just been turned on to their series. So you knew what I meant? Yes, yeah. totally. I didn't get it. I'm drinking Luann. It's a, it's a real Housewives reference. One of, Very quick story. Oh. One of the Housewives stops drinking and she gets very judgy. The other girls that are drinking and their girl named Tinsley is like, yeah, I'm drinking Luann. Uh-huh, I'm drinking. And it's hysterical. <laughs> Guess who's following me now, Val? You know the real Housewives of New Jersey. Yes. You know Margaret Josephs? Oh, yes, she's beautiful. Her, her husband, Joe. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh they uh -huh. should do a reading. Oh, oh I, I wish, I hope. <laughs> yeah. they, they read a lot of people, if you know what I'm saying, but they need a reading for sure. Uh -huh. Sorry, Mickey, we need after to this episode, 
Yeah. After this episode, she's going to have 10 appointments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. But I just, um, okay. Well, by, by the time, like, you know, we have a reading the 24th and yes. I want to yes. say thank you. This is my second reading. Um, I just like a lot of stuff has been coming in my, my emails and stuff like that. And I, I just needed guidance. So that's why I reached out to Mel and ODB was the one that said, I just got a rating reading. Uh, I'm getting a reading on this date. And I go, Oh, let me, let me text her. Hey, I need to, I need to make an appointment. I need to make an appointment a ASAP. But yeah, she, she told me about her reading already too. You're amazing. Yeah, she had her recent like, one. She's such a sweetheart. She is. Isn't she? I love Jess. Um, so isn't she? Yeah. yeah. And her just love life has just blossomed. Yeah. yeah. Big changes are coming up for all the WWE girls. Big, Ooh. big changes. Yay. Good. Wow. Wow. So, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Well, yeah. I have to ask you, you mentioned Pride, and obviously we're, we're very proud to represent Pride. I have to ask, so I've never been to Australia. We always talk about this. I've, I'd love to go, but I've never been. What is yeah. Pride Month like in Australia? Are there parades? Are there events? Like, what's going on there? Yeah, we do We do have events. February. February. Oh. Yeah. So we oh. started February 14th. And month they, of love. The month of love, yes. Yeah. So, and then we do, um, what the hell is it called again? Um, so, yeah, so Mardi they do Gras. this massive, no, before Mardi Gras. We do like a, a like a, a thing before Mardi Gras where everybody gets together, um, they do stalls and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, and then they prepare you for Mardi Gras and all the floats and all that kind and of there's stuff. Lots and then of, the after party. And there's lots of theatre stuff yeah. to prepare us before, like theatre productions <laughs> and um, wow. um, artists and all things mm. like that. They showcase all their work. Yeah. I still have yet to go to a gay nightclub. Oh, I'm trying to get her to take me. She's like, I know way too many people. No, that's not no. the point. I will take you. Relax. <laughs> Please get a video so we can put it on the show. Now we'll be going. Did you date her? Did you date her? Did you date her? Did you date her? <laughs> Lisa Murray, seriously, seriously, we'll be out shopping, doing the groceries. Oh, and girls will come up. Hi, Teresa. Hi. And I'll be. I'll just. Oh, no. Why didn't you ever call me? Why'd you block my number, Tess? Why would? Why'd you block me? Tess, the heartbreaker over here. Oh God, no. She's a, a player. She's a player. I don't believe that for a second. You know what? Like, yeah, I just don't believe that for a second. God. Oh, oh Lordy. But you got a good one. Teresa, you got a good one. Oh, no, no, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. 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 I know you guys so well because we've been talking for a long time, but I'm like, oh, this is really cool because Mel, obviously our whole audience knows Mel from her readings and from the monthly star signs. Why well, I hope they, and if they don't, they do now, but Tess, we've never had you on because you're always working and busy and okay. just kind of all around. So it's really, really cool to get a chance to know you on the other side too, because I think it yeah. takes teamwork makes the dream work. You know what I mean? Plus you guys yeah. do so much cool stuff together as well. So, yeah. you know, yeah. here we are. Welcome to golf, yeah. babe. Thanks. Guys. Yes. Well, Team well, we do, um, Team paranormal golf. investigations together. And if I've had a weird day at work, I'll talk to her about certain things and say, look, this is what I felt at the time. What did you think? Blah, blah, blah. So she's actually very, very psychic herself. And yeah. it's, it's it, we love that. We love that. So interesting. What a power couple. It's a lot on your social medias. Like when you yeah. want a house clearing and stuff. And I, yeah, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what a house clearing yeah. is to people that might not know? Because we've had you on before and we love the paranormal and, you know, psychic readings and all of that. But there are some people that are very new to that. So what would you, how would you describe what a house clearing is? Funny, we actually did one just recently. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it depends on the person. It depends on what they're feeling, what they're experiencing. Um, so we, we try to channel it like that first. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the time they'll, uh, what was um, Diane's name? Sorry. Um, Diane, so, oh, we said her name. Yeah, no, Diane, no. who cares? I mean, there's thousands of Dianes in, in Sydney. Um, so she called up saying very heavy negative energy after yeah. her mother passed. Her mother is the cause of all of this, blah, 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 blah. Can you just come and clean the energy out of my house? And I said, oh, okay. I actually don't feel it's your mother, but okay. And what feelings are you getting in different rooms? And so you go through all the emotions and 
how like you're sussing out whether they're full of shit or not basically yeah. before you go and waste your time and then and then you go in and you kind of go right yes there's heavy energy in the house still I didn't feel it was the mum I really didn't and Teresa was uh doing her thing with incense and whatever she was doing and she said Mel I've just seen a tall dark figure run up the staircase first time I've actually seen a figure Normally we I'm were talking like about this test because she has told us that yeah. she sees more and that you have the power of smell. We'll yeah. get to that. Um, but that's amazing. I've never actually seen it. I was, the first time I saw it was on top of her stairs. Yeah. yeah. When so I was in the incense room. It was the tall, is it, is it called the tall man? The tall oh, man? Don't even, don't even start Ladies with that. <laughs> I love how she goes up. <laughs> he wasn't that tall. There, there's a tall. He was tall? Like, with a, did he have a top hat? Because I watched so much paranormal shit. <laughs> like there's a tall man. The sh it's a, the, the shadow man. The shadow man. Oh my god! No. Well, well, man. Yes. No, uh, not, well, no. Well, yeah. so Teresa says to me, Mel, tall dark figure just ran up the stairs. Mm. Could, I love her face. Yes. <laughs> I can't. Okay, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm really Wow. So wow. I run up the stairs, and uh, Diane follows me. But I, I run mm. up the stairs. I know. Sorry, I've said her name again. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and to cut a long story short. I tune into him because it's a male. It's mm. not the mum at all. Oh wow! And, I, and yeah, and I so I turn to this chick and I say, "Oh, who's the pedophile?" And she was like, "Who?" Oh. And I said, "Well, who's the pedophile? It's not your mother dragging the energy down in the house. It's a pedophile." To cut a long story short, there was a family member back when she was six years six years old. The abuse started. So I said, "Right, we need to clear him out of the house because obviously he's now dead. We need to get rid of him. It's got nothing to do with your mum." Mm. And she said, "You know what? It makes sense because she said after mum passed, we realised dad would badmouth <clears throat> mum to us all the time. Yeah. So dad was a bit of a narcissist, putting." bad vibes or juju about the mother to the children. Mm -hmm. So I said, it's not your mum. Your mum's actually really happy. She's flirty and giggly and fun. She, we're all thrilled that, that the negative energy is gone, which was the pedophile. Mm. So, wow. yeah. But when we and did you to... smell it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean- Did you smell? All the time, like it's a, it's a really, really, um, it's an aggressive smell when it's a negative energy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like I said, I, I actually saw him, so. That's it was just all happening for me mm. that day. Yeah, it was all happening for me. And the, the best thing was when um, we're in the garage and we're coming to the conclusion of just the cleansing and um, she started getting this overwhelming emotion. And she, when I say she broke down, she absolutely broke down. She was like choking and, and coughing and heaving. And I, like I caught her. Because I both her. On the floor. She, she weighed like, it was she's a tiny, she's like dead that weight. size. It was dead weight. But she weighed like a thousand kilograms. She weighed like a ton. And I'm like, I can't hold her. Yeah, it was absolutely yeah. like dead weight. And she was just heaving and crying. And, and all trying this to cough, like, cough <coughs> all this stuff. Oh, yeah. mate, it was. I was like, where are the cameras? Yeah. Where are the cameras yeah. when you need them? I know. I've done a lot of investigations, but that was that was the most intense, mm. I think. So me. do you yeah. think that the spirit kind of like, as it was asking to get like left, I know this is a weird question, but it like no, no. went through her? Like it tried to go through her? Fuck yeah. 100%. Fuck yeah. Because, yeah. because if you can appreciate, um, we have dead people around us all the time because they like our vibe. They like our aura. We're comfortable to them. They love us. But if you're telling someone who's aggressive, it's time now to fuck off, mm. they're not going to like it. They're going to go kicking and screaming. So yeah. that's, that's literally how it was. Okay, so you went upstairs and then you, you were like, it's not your mom. Mm. It, there's a pedophile. Then what happened? What happened then now? Um, what do you do next? I, I pray and I say to Teresa, right. The, the, the dark figure that you saw, it's a man that abused her from, uh, I think, like the age of six, I said, yeah. It's time to move him on. So we just do yeah, our Yeah, so we know what we're up against. So we get the incense out and all that kind of stuff. She mm. does her thing. I do my thing. We go throughout the house. Um, and then you can pinpoint areas where you know he is because you get like a different, the air's different. Sometimes you'll get the incense, um, it's like burning and crackling. Yeah, it'll spark rather than yeah. just smolder. It'll spark and and spit yeah it's like okay that's when you know you're definitely dealing with the negative you can energy. find the negative energies i don't know how you feel they always go to the corners or like the, the corners of a room or high up in the corners so it's like well you can't get me it's like yes we fucking can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Just keep going. is it like it's like is it, do they, they do they feed off like like off of fear also because yeah. i watch too much shit I, like i said I, and then um it's almost like feeling like electricity like it's like electricity right 
Oh, oh, you can feel the vibration. Like, like, like um, it's hard to describe, but imagine like you, for me, it's, if there's negative stuff, it's like my blood is boiling from the inside. It's like, it starts to boil. Oh my like, God. like, like, oh, okay. It's, it's, it's shimmery. It's, um, like you said, yeah. electricity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's like your, your, wow. your, your heart jumps into your throat. Yeah. My heart pounds. And you get clogged. It just, <sighs> just depends. It depends on how, yeah, it depends on how dark it is. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Mm. So when I caught, um, what the hell was his name? Oh, well, we just called him Jeepers Creepers, to be honest, because it was just black and he had like claws for hands. Yeah, the, yeah, that yeah, was the, scary. The black shadow man. Yeah, that was black, scary. That yeah. freaked me out. Yeah. yeah. You, you know the photo? Is I that the one? That, is that the one when she took a picture of you, Mel? Yeah. And then she yeah. was standing behind you. You said, yeah. and, and then and then Teresa said, "Run." Yeah. yeah. Wow. I just, I, I turned the camera, yeah, I, honestly, I turned the fucking camera and I was just like, click, just run now, just fucking run. So, that was, yeah. and it's really hard to describe, but if, if, if I'm sure, because Lisa Mar Murray, you, you'll get what I'm saying. It's like black on black. Mm -hmm. It's different shades of, of, of the black, like, it, because it's dark, it's pitch black, you get thrown into a, a an actually uh, haunting investigation mm. to be filmed. Well, it's all obviously always at night time, there are no lights on, it's pitch black. So when you see black on black, it's like, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's freaky. <laughs> so I don't yeah, with no see through. Not. You can't see through it. No, right. no, no, no. That was solid no. black. He might be the same guy, Mel. If you remember, I'm not sure if you told Tess or not. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it because I was so. When I say I was freaked out, it, it bothered me for weeks. Do you remember the guy that I had the photo of? I think it might have been the Shadow Man or an old somebody in period clothing. And uh, I think we talked about it when you were on one of the first times. And when you sent me this photo of this kind of very, do you guys remember this? With this like the the very kind of. You could barely make out the face. And I have to edit the show. So I'm trying to get the, the, the photo to show up. Oh. It's past episode oh. now. And it's when I was brightening the, yeah, I was brightening the photo. I want to start crying. His face just appeared. It was the, yeah. I was like, because I oh saw it a little bit, but I was like, no, 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 no. And then when we. Is this the photo I sent you? Yes. Yeah, the photo you took through uh, the grave diggers' cottage through the window. Oh, that was epic. Yeah. That, was, that was scary. But I yeah. brightened it, and he's there. Like, because they were kind of like, oh I don't know. And I, said, Hang on. and I, I boxed the girls as I'm editing. I'm, I'm getting chills right now. And I said, you won't believe what I just found. I'm freaked out. Holy yeah. shit. But, but, but Val, was this the guy that liked your red hair? Is this a, no. that, at that hotel? No. or is this? And you guys have the hotel she stayed at. Yes, and whoever is watching that did not see that episode, it's the episode where we, I was in Bruges. And I'll tell you something, Mel, we were trying to schedule you and I thought, ooh, I've wanted to go to London for a while. I thought I am never recording in a hotel room again when Mel is around, because if I, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I felt him touch my hair. <laughs> yeah. We love the red yeah. hair. Yeah. I think we yeah. Googled it. Yeah. I can't remember how it worked out, but we Googled it. But his wife at the time, this is going back 1400. Daughter. His, his wife daughter. Yeah. And then Teresa, Teresa, there was a picture of a redhead above their bed. I had no what? idea. So he liked the red hair it was his daughter of, over their that, hotel bed. That there was a redhead. After the daughter. It was called like, the, I don't forget, the Mary or the something. And that was his daughter. Right, right. Said, There's a man, I'm getting chills again. There's a man behind you. And I was like, lovely, that right, man. lovely, she says. Uh, yeah. And then also too, this was at the end of the interview where you, she said, it's like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show guys. Hey, hey Val, the there's a guy behind you that really loves your hair. <laughs> I I Joy, Teresa, how do you end a show with going, there's someone there grabbing your hair? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Thanks and bye. I said you can't you can't leave me like this. But <laughs> 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 uh, that we discussed in private um conversations. So on your Instagram, the girls yeah. are gonna freak out. You have that photo. Can you describe what this photo is with the dots on the nose that we were Oh yeah. So so I found this photo. And do you remember, for, for those who have no concept of what photos were like in the old days, you have a negative that, that, that you got with the photo when you got your photo developed. Mm. And so what you do is the premise is if you stare at the red dot on the nose of the, of, it's a girl, uh -huh. and you stare at it for 30 seconds and you look away to the wall or something, you then see the girl in full colour lit up from the inside right, and blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's how I see dead people. So I posted it. Did Who freaked out? Someone freaked out? Yeah. I didn't do it. I can't do it. Lisa refuses to I, do it. 
Uh, my I won't do it. I guess I won't. I won't do we. I won't do Ouija boards. I won't do anything that's going to invite <laughs> or get get an attachment to me. I'm scared to be attached to, and oh, I can't God. get rid of it. Well, uh, I, I won't do Ouija boards. I, that's dark. This is purely an example of how. Yeah. Right. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I've done no Lisa's luck. She'd like to like, try it. <laughs> like, and, 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 and Mickey, Mickey, like, and also Mel, you told me that I had the gift and I don't, yeah. I ignore the gift. I think yes, I purposely you. do it because I don't want to. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, I'm, a, I'm a sissy. I am. No, 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 no. Well, well, they won't attach if you set that intention of, you know, don't attach. I'm, I, we're just here to chat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like dating apps. Yeah. I'm just here to chat. Yeah. Don't you, don't you guys yeah. attach to yes. And then swipe left when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> please, please swipe left when you're done. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say that I, it was weird because Bal and I both tried the pictures and I tried that picture like a couple different times. I did it once in a dark room mm -hmm. and then did the look away. And then Bal was like, no, you just got to keep staring at it. And then I tried that thing. I didn't see the same thing Val saw. Like I did see the figure wow. on the wall, but it wasn't in full color. It was like kind of, it was filled out like the contours and it looked like a real, not the picture, not the negative of it, but it wasn't, wow. Val saw it in like full color, full everything. Full color, yeah. oh, oh, wow. wow. There, you go. there you go. Is yeah. it because, um, cause, cause, cause is it because Val has light eyes? You said people with light eyes can kind of pick it up. Yeah, look, uh, people with dark eye, brown eyes can as well. I mean, sh she's crazy town, oh. you know. So, but but it's it's crazy town. because our our, our, our our sorry, no, not well, <laughs> good, man. Well, good. because <laughs> because our eyes are so pale. It, they're like the infrared cameras. They let in so much light. Like I hate bright light. I, I always shield my eyes because mm. I it just lets in. I can just see dimensions within dimensions, and it gets too much. So, we yeah. Thought that was wow. Bad. That exhausting post, that post oh my god but tess i have to ask mel, mel has been so um giving in her story of how she you know tapped into her amazing gift what's your story of when you started to realize that you had uh, this amazing gift as well oh uh, look i think i'm more, um I, I knew i or, always had it and i always had an obsession with uh, horrors and and all that kind of stuff and um well, we were idiots like i mean me and my cousin would be in the factory playing pool and then we'd let him in, you know, we'd tell stories just to scare the shit out of us. So then we bolt all the way home and it was like an acreage house. Like it was, it was silly, but um, it wasn't until I'm, uh, look at work. I used to as well when I worked at um, uh, university and I was, I was uh, doing security at the mall. Um, that was amazing. That's where I really got into my smell. Um, but it wasn't until I met this one where I really, you know, started tapping into it properly um, and safely, I guess. And yeah, so she she's the one that really she opens it up for me she has this great story of when she was working at the morgue it was like she's doing security there and it's like 1 a.m in the morning and the bell rings oh yeah that was fun right just in case the person in the fucking vault wakes up yeah. right seriously so the bell rings she yeah. goes downstairs nothing yeah it happens back up three times three yeah. times bell rang again she came, same same bloke yeah and then the end she went fuck this opened it pulled him out and said what do you want me to know what the fuck is going on yeah, every time she and then what happened? Nothing. And what happened? What do you say? Nothing. He didn't say anything. Typical man. Nothing. Never. Yeah, right. Dead right. or alive, yeah, in trouble. Yeah. I'm just want to fuck around with you, but when you actually come, you know, and come at me, I'm just gonna be like, nah, I'm yeah. playing dead. He's probably felt yeah, typical out. man. No wonder what. No wonder uh, you went to think the women. The, That's you, right. I wonder if you, you got converted to the good side. Even the dead government. guys can't communicate, for God's sake. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. That's excellent. Well, ladies, this has been so much fun. <laughs> we have loved having you here. And of course, you're welcome anytime. Tess, of course, if you want to join Mel when she's with us, we would love to have you back. You've had a fabulous Gaw TV debut. Oh, we want to raise our glasses and say thank you so much. Yay for love, yay for pride. Love. Thank you. Pride. Thank you. Yay for pride. Woohoo. Cheers. Woo well, the party's not over. If you're just uh, in the chat room, we want to say thank you for being here. If you're watching on replay, don't miss uh, our Zoom after parties every single week. We're going to head on over to the Zoom party now. And at 6 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be with all of our patrons on patreon.com slash TV. The party is starting there in just a bit, so don't miss it. Join right now and subscribe. Thank you, ladies, again. We love you.
We love you so Thank much. You guys. Oh my God. Thank you. I'll be honest. This, I think this might have been my favorite episode since we started. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm being honest. Go, yo, go.